Well, I'm attempting a recharge of these four NIMH 1.2 volt cells from a very, very old laptop battery, uh, battery pack. Uh, a couple of the cells were really sulfated on the ends, and this is, these four seem to be okay. Um, the fan gen started off without the light lit and without anything on the HV side and the rotor was practically stalled at what is 6 volts there uh, now the rotor started to pick up speed and the whole sensor's light has come on very very strange stuff I'll uh, do another section if anything happens here we are just a few seconds later and the fan speed's picking up Here we are a few minutes along with our four, those four there, and we're at, ooh, the heady heights of uh, about two and a half volts, but it's climbing. You can kind of watch paint dry or watch this increase. I'd say it's uh, heck, be about a volt every hour. <laughs> anyway, the HV is now on fully. Well, wait a minute now. This is going to be really boring and out of focus. I can actually, this is straight after that other video part, can actually see this needle moving. And I say it's like watching paint dry, but I know power's going in that old set of batteries, so it's, uh, you know, mildly exciting to types like us, I guess. But it's now up to, let's see, 3.1 and climbing away you can actually see it move, that's alright that especially if watching the top of the needle up near that range at the top of the ohms definitely moved while I've been recording but don't worry I'll not use the full 10 minutes on uh, I know basically static needle but yeah there we go, Three. we're on about 3.5 now not a bad charge rate this. Right oh, we we're at about the 4.8 volts there after about another 25 minutes of the run. And uh well I'll find out if it's charged those batteries up. Let's have a seat. Just disconnected the wires now. This is a six volt bulb. And do we have power? Yeah, hey. All right. Seems to have done a good job. I'll try it with uh, further loads shortly. But that seems to have done a fine job there.